You see that? And that is going to hydrate your hair. First ingredient, water. This is me from the future, I think. The video you're about to see, I recorded in January and I never put it up on the channel. So if I look thinner in the video, that is why. I just needed to take some time off from vlogging. So I rested and I didn't vlog and yeah, but I'll be back. Enjoy. Hello friends, how are you? Thank you for clicking on Becoming Tanika. I am Tanika. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Come on, get in here, get in here. You saw the title. I'm about to share, I'm about to give what you've been asking me to give. Yes, all of my favorite hair care products. What sis? Okay, in no particular order. Um, is this camera straight? Let's do that first. <laughs> I think it's straight. Oh, there it goes. Okay, that should be good. In no particular order, I'm just going to go through these. I have a couple of favorite brands, and then within those brands, I have favorite products. So my new favorite, which I, if you follow me on Instagram, simply.tanika over there on Instagram, you already know, Kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope. I love colors.com owned by Jessica. I can't think of Jessica's name, but she's the real BB Judy on Instagram. Anyway, this is the first one. Miracle Edges, and it says, bring stubborn edges back. I love the consistency of this, and it's just basically like to lay down your baby hairs. It doesn't give me the cast, like I was using flaxseed gel before, which gave me a little bit of a cast. Like you could brush it off, but sometimes if you miss a spot, it will look flaky. It just wasn't a good look. But this makes them nice and soft, and it gives them like a good texture without, I don't know if you guys can really see it, um, without, giving it a cast on it which I'm here for. The other thing that I like from Kaleidoscope Miracle Drops. So these are drops for whoa for the scalp. There we go. They do what they say they're gonna do. I'm trying to think of what this smells like. It doesn't have a strong smell but it does have a little bit of a scent. It has tea tree oil in it, um, peppermint oil, that's what I'm smelling, the peppermint and then aloe leaf extract you just you can either drop it on your scalp and rub it in or drop it on your fingertips and rub it in since i've had the nails on i've just been dropping it on the scalp and like massaging it into my scalp but i'm loving the result keeps my hair well moisturized well moisturized before all of this stuff that you know the edges and the oil you have to wash and condition your hair so just let me give you i don't have like a favorite shampoo i actually switch it up because i believe like there's build up and it changes so i rotate out like if I, I wash my hair with one shampoo the next time I wash my hair is with a different shampoo different conditioner miracle repair so this is by TGIN thank God it's natural is that focused there we go TGIN thank God it's natural miracle repair X deep hydrating hair mask it has black castor oil biotin thank God it's natural first ingredient is water so it's mostly water which is good because you're trying to get your hair hydrated then raw black honey castor seed oil biotin fruit oil agave American leaf papaya fruit oh good stuff ginger root extract some to heat to heatness <laughs> flower extract I don't know what that is but it feels good and it smells good I don't think I opened this one. Oh no I did it's this is a new one and all of these are on Amazon they'll be linked down in the description box below but there you can see the consistency it has like a nice there you see that and that is gonna hydrate your hair first ingredient water so yeah 
miracle repair i usually do that i'm probably going to put some on in the morning i'm gonna do my hair tomorrow i think it's dirty it always the girls look bomb when it's dirty so i was like let me do this before i wash my hair um anyway so that repair mask i'll usually put this on and i'll put on a heating cap with it like that's the one that you put in the microwave i'll put that on for 10 minutes and i was talking to some of you ladies oh you know what? it was a chat in on the other channel or on ig i can't remember anyway i was talking about simple stuff at home you don't always have to spend a lot of money on your hair I use apple cider vinegar and I dilute that with water like 50 50 to do my hair like to rinse it out so I use it to clarify my hair and I'll also use rice water which is like fermented rice and that used to help grow my edges back I haven't really been using it since I came back from California but you can just make it at home it's whatever the cost of rice is right it's not that expensive and some water and then you put it in the fridge I also make my own flaxseed gel at home and I mix it with shea butter when I'm in a hurry I use this other which I get on Amazon it's from natural all they have a flaxseed gel curl custard so that I get from Amazon and you can see this one is almost empty but this is really good for hydration especially this part of my hair has like a bit of a different texture and it gets drier faster and so I keep a lot of this like in that part of my um, curl pattern just down to the roots and I find it's good to do it like rub it in from root to tip you will get a little bit of cast on there so I wouldn't like put it in and run out of the house I would put it in like let it dry and then you want to go in with like an oil uh, on top of it I use this one argan oil repairing hair oil strengthen and restores it's by hask which I guess is like hair mask hask so and they actually have some good leave-in conditioners too I was gifted some before I got like a box of them and I like switched them up I loved all of them I actually should buy some more yeah this argan oil this is also a good sealant like after you hydrate your hair to put some oil in there just to seal in all the moisture what is that called the LCO right um, like lotion conditioner oil not the LOC you want to finish with the oil so that it seals it in but that is a good hair like a moisture sealant for you then I also have this thank God it's natural honey whip hydrating mousse the first ingredient on this is water so you know that it's moisturizing it's not alcohol most mousse mousse most mousses I don't know what it's called when it's it's not running around most of them have alcohol in them there is an alcohol in here so it's specifically made for curly hair for natural hair um, so water is the first ingredient honey agave American leaf extract uh, papaya fruit extract can calendula flower extract and burdock root extract I think that's all there's some maltodextrin in there, which is like a sugar or in the sugar family, but yeah, and fragrance. So this I like to put on. So you guys know sometimes my hair is big and poofy and sometimes it's like super hydrated and close to my head or some variation in between or I have straightened it. But like when I'm wearing my hair bigger, I'll use this because it's not, it's moisturizing, but it's not as heavy. Like I would say the Kaleidoscope Leave-In Detangler Coconut Milk and Rice Water. It's called the Miracle Shake. I usually just call it the Coconut Shake but this is also by kaleidoscope this is a little it dries a little heavier so you get more weight like today i have a lot of the milkshake in my hair so you can see like it's the curls are way down they're very well defined um when i'm wearing my hair like if i have blown it out and then it's reverting back because I, I usually don't drench it all at once like I like to encourage it to get the curls back over time this is my go-to for that and it keeps my hair like big but also hydrated so um, this has rice water in it which I love I didn't realize it until I was on a live and Jenea um, J baby in a corner um, mentioned it or asked me about it and I read oh my god let me get my face and I read the ingredients out loud I was like oh I am getting rice water so yeah this helps with hair retention too and I say retention because all of our hair grows even if it grows at different speed but you won't notice it if you're not retaining the length right so as much as you're replacing is falling off on this side so it's hard to see your growth so you really want to focus on retention and for me that meant moisture the more moisturized my hair is, the more I retain it. And it randomly, I discovered this from talking to my old GP because her hair had been dry and then it looked super drenched. She's actually the one who recommended this brand to me, Wee Dad. 
And she was like, your hair needs much more moisture than you think. And so, and once that proved to be true, I was like, oh, well, let me get everything I can to moisturize it. So this, I think it's pronounced We Dad, the Curl Experts. This is Take Shape Plumping and Defining Cream. Plump and define your natural curl pattern from the inside out. Um, perfect for loose curls and waves with medium to thick textures. So I would say my hair is medium it's not really thin. my hair is actually really thin it just has like volume to it if that makes sense but i don't have like when i was younger it was fuller i don't know anyway this is good for that this one is a little bit on the pricier side so i don't recommend it for everyone like don't don't break the bank there's the tgin is a less expensive but just as good version but the wee dad is like it's top notch oh you can see my little fingerprints can you in there ah, there you go <laughs> so yeah it has like a nice consistency it's not gonna oh god focus you see it's not wiggling around like that it's like a nice gel to it or like a custard like it has some body to it so does this one this doesn't have as much body though because see it's gonna move around when I slide this um, I'm not sure if it's picking that up, but I don't want to spill it while I'm showing you. But this there, you saw it. See how it was coming over the lip? Yeah. It's, it's a little looser, um, but it's, it's just as good. If you're in the market to spend a little more money, I would definitely recommend this one. Just high quality. All of their products are really good. They also have a hair mask that I use, but I haven't actually used their hair mask in conjunction with this. I don't know. I like to mix and match my products. Like when I first started my hair journey, I would buy a whole line of stuff, but I was learning, you know what I mean? And so sometimes something will work from a line and something else won't. This is the last two that I want to go. The main choice. I specifically like this scent, the Tropical Moringa. This is a sealant when you don't feel like putting on oh, my face is in here. Come on. There you go. This is a sealing cream. So it helps seal in moisture, add softness and shine, helps improve manageability. It gives what it is supposed to give. So I don't oil my hair every single day. Some days I'll alternate between cream and oil or at bedtime I will put on the cream just because I wrap my head in a scarf and I don't want like oil to go through the scarf onto my pillow. You know what I mean? Like I, mind you, I have a pillowcase, I have a pillow protector and then the pillow, but I just don't want to like, I don't know. That's just me. This definitely helps seal it in and sweet oils and honey, endless moisture. This is going to snatch your curls back up like it gives it that elasticity so if you're trying to wear them longer I would stick with just using oil just regular oil for your sealant instead of the cream but it gives it like so much shine and so much body it's really nice and it says for curly wavy or kinky hair I'm trying where's the ingredients the first ingredient and in this is water and then it goes it's got glycerin avocado oil cocoa something oh coconut oil they call it cocoa nucifera and then in parentheses it says coconut oil. It's got good stuff in there. Shea butter, biotin, moringa, oleifera seed oil. So, and it smells really good. It definitely smells tropical. I actually wore this out. I was wearing bum bum cream and some of the, oh my God, what is it? Cory, Tory, Tory Birch. That Cheyenne and Francis got me like two Christmases ago. I was wearing it with the bum bum cream, the Tory Birch and this, and I got so many compliments. It smelled like I was on vacation. From the same line, there's also this restorative spray. Refreshes and boosts two or second or third day curls. Rehydrates to deliver moisture. Fights frizz, softens and defines curls, adds shine and luster. So this is a lightweight restorative. It is, you can see how liquidy it is in there. Hopefully you can. It's reflecting the camera. But you see it's not very viscous it's like closer to a water and so sometimes I'll use that especially on the top where I have frizz just to lighten my curls up um, and then puff them back up because if you're putting cream on every day I don't know mine starts to get weighted down and it flattens my curls at the top 
because I'm putting the cream in and then I'm like rubbing it and sometimes I brush it. So this is like a lighter way to perk up your curls and get that spring back in your curls without like weighing them down. Cause it's a delicate balance. Like you want it to have enough moisture so that it's hydrated and it actually curls and it's not frizzy, but you don't want to have too much or just like completely like weighs your hair down. You know, you want to have a little bit of swing. It don't mean a thing if you ain't got that swing, sis. So what you want to have a little bit. So the restorative spray is good for that. So those are my favorite hair care products. As of now, this is what I'm loving. If you are interested in my whole long hair day hair day routine, I still have that the longest wash day ever. I pretty much go through that same product protocol, but with these products um, and the apple cider vinegar. If you're interested in seeing like what the apple cider vinegar rinse looks like, let me know in the comments below. What are your favorite hair products? I definitely want to hear um, what's working for your curls, what's keeping them popping. I have a whole other line of products for when I straighten my hair, including like heat protectants and everything else like that. So if you're interested in that, let me know. The products are a little different just because these are all for curls and they kind of like are super moisturizing and when my hair is straight I can't put too much moisture back in it because then it'll start to the curls are, will start to revert so it's like a fine line I don't do bone straight anyway like I straighten my hair where it looks like I mean you can tell I have natural hair um, I used to straighten it all the time and that was part of my retention issue right because the heat was killing my hair so I try to steer clear of heat damage so I have a lot of products for that if you're interested in seeing that video let me know down below if you're interested in seeing me make some of my flaxseed gel at home let me know I'm happy to do whatever you guys want to see I've been in love with my hair journey so I'm happy to share it um, I'm happy to continue it with you guys so yeah like you know it's it's my crown it's your crown so we got to take care of our crown right right liberty is that right we got to take care of our crown she's like mom you have not washed my hair yet what are you talking about tomorrow tomorrow liberty am i looking orange in this camera i feel like i am i don't know if i'm orange right now or it changed the colors because i was showing the products in there but if it's orange the whole video i'm sorry guys <laughs> you still got the products everything's down in the description box below they're all my amazon affiliate links in the next week i will get my amazon store cleared up but the links to all of these products will be down below so if you try anything and you like it let me know if you have some other favorites let me know i'm always looking for the new hookup so holler at your girl all right i'll talk to you later bye I just needed to take some time off from vlogging. So I rested and I didn't vlog and yeah, but I'll be back. Enjoy. Hello hotties. This is me from the future, I think. The video you're about to see I recorded in January and I never put it up on the channel. So if I look thinner in the video, that is why. <laughs>